Today was the two year anniversary stream for Grounded over on Twitch. And towards the end of it, they did reveal a feature that's gonna be coming in the future, perhaps as soon as the 0 0.14 update, which is the update's gonna be happening before 1.0. They also did show off a montage of some changes that occurred to the backyard from the 0.1 build to the current build. And there's something in there that I want to talk about because they didn't actually talk about that at all. And there's a chance that they might have accidentally revealed something without, without thinking about it. So first up, let's take a look at the video here. So we're gonna let this play. And what you're gonna see here is there's a gnat that's appearing on the screen. And you'll notice the gnat is not booping us. It is actually sitting there so we can pet it. So they did in fact confirm that there will be pet gnats coming. It sounds like they might be coming in the 0.14 update. At the very worst, it'll be in 1.0. So you can look forward to that. That was the only feature that they basically said was definitely coming. Now I want to take a quickly look at the yard changes because this is going to show a basically a montage of changes that happened from either the demo build or the 0 0.1 until now. This is the mysterious machine. This is what it looked like in the original demo or in the demo build. I don't even remember seeing this. I don't remember. I did play the demo. Obviously, this is what it looks like now. Now, looking at this, I don't see anything that looks any different. So let's move on to the next scene real quick. Next up, we're going to have the pond. So obviously, this is the pond back in the demo before anything was there. Not really much here. And here is the new pond. And it doesn't look like there's anything here that's any different. In fact, there looks like there's things that are missing up here that were shown in other trailers. So nothing new here. Moving along to the picnic table, here you can see a camera here, and this is where the interesting part is, and this is something I want to point out. All of this stuff here on the table looks normal. This all looks the same, but this bush right here that is sitting in up on the deck shed, which is currently not in the, or the shed, yeah, the shed deck, sorry, which is not currently in the game right above the weed, right above the uh, fertilizer here. This is not currently in the game. This pot's not here. And one thing you might notice is these flowers on here, if you watch the 1.0 trailer, they look very similar to the flowers that were in the Mantis Arena. So there's a possibility that this is going to be where the Mantis is going to be located. They did not say anything about this. They didn't confirm it or deny it. Nobody even asked about it when it was actually played as far as I saw in the chat. But this has been shown and it looks like, I, like I said, it could be the location of the Mantis. Now, I was speculating the Mantis would be in some kind of terrar terrarium or something like that, perhaps over in the other part of the yard. Now, maybe this is just here as a placeholder and it's not going to be there, but it does say 0.13.4 build, which is the current build of the game as far as I know. And that's where that's this has been shown in that. So perhaps that's going to be where the Mantis is located. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Then moving on to the next. Let's see what else they showed. I think there's only one more part i think it's just the uh, actually no they showed the we got the sandbox here this is the 0 0.1.0 sandbox so nothing really over here just kind of some grass and then obviously here let's pause real quick i didn't notice any changes here everything here looks pretty much the same with the sandbox as well as over here in the trash heap nothing new up top or anything doesn't look like there's anything different here so it doesn't look like there's any any changes to that that have accidentally been revealed. This is the uh, haze from 0.1. Obviously you can see down here, there's some like, it looks like maybe PVC pipes or something down here in this hole. Plus there's a shovel stuck in there. And this looks completely different now. The weed killer has been moved over and this actually looks like what it almost looks like with the haze turned off, but obviously the haze is turned on here. I don't notice anything here different. There's some paint cans up here. There's a paint can down here. Everything looks the same there. Don't really notice anything else here. So I think that's the end of the video. Actually, and there's one more thing. Here's the original Broodmother. Honestly, I never saw this because I don't think I went over to the Broodmother during the uh, early parts of the game. And obviously here is the current Broodmother. They also showed some things like changes to the UI, changes to the crafting menu, and some other things. I look, I watched over those a couple of times. There was nothing in the new menus. There was obviously stuff in the old menus. As an example, like they changed the name. They got, they got rid of armor glue and super armor glue. And now that's just called repair glue. They, the brat burst and splat burst used to be called bombs. They're not in there anymore. And other than that, I didn't see anything new on those menus, but that's basically what we've sh been shown today. Now, unfortunately, the question was asked multiple times. It was, in fact, it was the most common question I saw asked in the chat was any news on the PTS? When's the PTS? They did not give us any news on the PTS. They will be at Comic-Con from July 21st to July 24th in San Diego. At Comic-Con, they did say they're going to have a booth set up so people can play the game. They're going to have a giant broodmother statue, I think, or a giant broodmother thing that's like 17 feet tall or something like that. I'm wondering if that's kind of like supposed to be like to scale it, what, we, what, what it would look like if you were actually the size you are in the game. And I believe they're also going to be talking about the animated series there. Didn't say anything about whether or not to be showing any clips for it or any teasers, but I think they did. There was mention, at least in the article I read earlier, that they might be showing it off 
uh, at the at Comic Con or talking about or something like that. So those are the things we know right now. Unfortunately, like I said, the there's been no news on the PTS. Honestly, I was expecting them to either let us know today when the PTS is going to be, and I was expecting it to be next week. They already said there's not going to be a stream next week. Although I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe before the last update, they did not stream or they released the public test server. Either they didn't stream the week it came out because it was right after they came back from PAX East or something like that. I believe that happened in a previous update. So there is a chance it could still come next week. Maybe they're going to talk about it at Comic-Con, although it'll be kinda, that would be kind of a, I don't know, unless you're there in person, you wouldn't really know unless somebody reports on it. So I was kind of expecting them to release it today, or release the date today. They did straight up say at the beginning of the stream it was not going to be opening today, but they also didn't really want to give any comments on it. There was, from watching the live stream, they did have some of the development team on there. All they did was kind of, they did a build off and they had some uh, PVP battles going on. They didn't really reveal any information during the three hour live stream, unfortunately. And like I said, we're not sure when the PTS is. I'm still thinking it might be next week. If it's not next week, perhaps the first week of August. I'm honestly hoping it's sooner rather than later. They do want us to test something out, something new that we have has not been added to the game. So I'm not sure what system that's gonna be. They have like I'm sure it's not just the pets. There's no way it's just uh, testing out the pet nap. There's got to be some kind of new system, whether it's a weather system, whether they're changing the combat system in some way. Maybe they're changing progression. Maybe they're moving around when, when you get the oven, so maybe you get it sooner. Maybe they're changing some crafting recipes. Perhaps they're going to change the, maybe some of the mutation system. Because honestly, one thing that hasn't really been talked about is a lot of the mutations in the game feel like they should be passive and they will be better served as being a passive mutation where you get them unlocked. Maybe they'll just add, maybe they'll just completely change the mutation system. Who knows? There's been not, not much talk about that. Then, then we have the armor upgrades and the weapon upgrades. I still personally think that they're a little bit too, they're resource, they're resource intensive as well as they t they're kind of tedious in the fact that we can't really automate the production of many of the things. Like I showed on one of my streams recently, you ba even if you have all the resources like the sap and the crude rope, you still have to turn it into the, you have to make the, scr the scraps, then turn it into the plates. Then you have to make plates to turn into the next plates and plates to turn into the next plates. And that just turns into, it just takes quite a while. Even turning the, glo the, the different shards into globs and then turning them to jewels, even if you already have the resources and you have lots of ovens and grinders set up, it does take quite a bit of time to get those. Uh, created or crafted so perhaps that's going to be something they're going to test out the weather system obviously will be if that's going to happen i would love to see a weather system added to the game but i don't know if that's feasible at this point with the game only being two months away that would be like probably the biggest change they could possibly make to the game so anyway those are the things we learned only thing definite is going to be there's going to be a pet nap we have no idea when the pts is going to be although i do think it's going to be sooner rather than later and like i said that bush was shown on the 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 deck of the shed which may or may not be where the manis is going to be who knows? I mean, the flowers look exactly the same. It does look like a bush. It kind of looks like it'll be an arena area. So perhaps that's where it's going to be. Maybe it was just sitting there as a placeholder. Maybe it's going to be in the other part of the yard. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.